netconf and yang for Cisco iOS XE. In this video, we are going to develop netconf script with Python to get information about Cisco iOS XE. How to install netconf on Ubuntu Linux, how to install netconf server on Cisco iOS XE, test netconf session between Ubuntu Linux desktop and Cisco iOS XE, and get Cisco iOS XE router interface and collect information about it with netconf and yang data models. So let's get started. We have got CSR iOS XE router connected to the iOS router, then the Linux desktop. The Linux desktop will be used to install and develop netconf scripts to CSR iOS XE router. In the CSR iOS XE router, let's check the interfaces. We have interface Giga Ethernet 1 and it has an IP address 172.16.1.1. This interface Giga Ethernet 1 is connected to interface Giga 0 slash 1 on the iOS router. Let's check this interface. We have Giga Ethernet 0 slash 1 and it has 172.16.12. Now I'm going to enable this interface. Interface Giga 0 slash 1. No shutdown. We have also another interface is Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0 and it has an IP address 10.1.1.1 connected to the Linux desktop. Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected to interface Ethernet 1 on the Linux desktop. So I need to enable this interface as well. Giga interface 0 slash 0, no shutdown. Now we have the two interfaces 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 is enabled. So let's now do ping from CSR IOX XE router to the VIOS to check that there is an IP connectivity. To check that there is an IP connectivity. It's working now. I connect now to the Linux desktop terminal using SSH. And let's check the IP configuration of the Linux desktop terminal. Second interface is ENS4 and it has an IP address 10.1.1.9 which is connected to the lab to the VIOS router. Let's check the IP address connectivity with 10.1.1.1 which is the VIOS router and it can reply and let's now do ping to the CSR iOS XE router and also it has reply now there is an IP connectivity between the Linux desktop and the CSR IOXE router. Now I have to install netconf or NC client module of the Python on Ubuntu Linux. To install NC client, I have to use command pip install nc client and I will need to uninstall lxml and install it again for Ubuntu Linux desktop 16.4.4 and Python 3.6.13 and bib 21.3.1 Next step is to install netconf server on Cisco iOS XE router. I have to use command username and assign username and give it the 
highest privilege, privilege 15, and password. Then I have to use command netconf hyphen yang. This command will enable netconf server on Cisco iOS XE router. Now I'll test the netconf between the client, which is Linux desktop, and the server, which is Cisco iOS XE router, using the Linux terminal and command ssh hyphen p space the port number 830, which is the netconf port number hyphen s. Hamdi is a username at 172.16.1.1, which is the IP address of Cisco iOS XE then the keyword netconf, then press enter. Now it asks me to provide the password for Hamdi, which is configured there on the router, which is Cisco. Now it prints out all netconf capabilities supported on the Cisco iOS XE router. I'm going now to do the same, but with developing Python script change directory devnet devnet now I'll create a new file nano test underscore netconf and use this script from NC client import manager. Manager will be used in the M variable created here, manager.connect, and then specify the credential details and the IP address of the netconf server, host, port number, username, password, and the device type, it's CSR. Then print M, then for capability in m.server underscore capabilities, print 100 stores, then print the capability itself. After that, I'll close the netconf session. I'll save the file, then I'm going to implement the file python test underscore netconf. It did the same as we implemented ssh hyphen p 830 and hyphen s handy at 172.16.1.1 netconf we have another script here to get the cisco ios xe router interface using netconf and python script this script uses from nc client import manager and uses filter tag in XML data structure to specify the Yang data model used here, which is native Yang, Cisco iOS XE native, and the structure has list item interface, then the items themselves, Giga Ethernet interface one. This Yang data model is responsible to print the configuration of the interface giga ethernet one of the cisco ios xe then i use m which is equal manager.connect and the connection details of the router then print connected and after that i'll create a new variable named as get underscore interface underscore config then use get interface this is to get the configuration filter of the native Yang model. After that, 
I create a new variable named as XML DOM, which equals XML dot DOM dot many DOM dot parse string, and then string of the get interface config. Then I'm going to print XML DOM. This script is to receive the configuration of the interface Giga Ethernet 1 of the NetConf iOS XE, then print the output in XML data structure. Let, let's copy this section and name a new file netconf underscore yang native get interface Then execute this command python netconf yang native get interface. The command executed successfully. First, it printed connect, then the RPC reply with the message ID and the XML version, then the structure of the output in XML which is the RPC reply of the netconf and it shows the description of the interface, the IP address and the subnet mask of the router. It's just like Shuran interface Giga Ethernet 1. Let's check that. Shuran interface Giga Ethernet 1. It has description and IP address negotiation Uto, just like what we received exactly here from the XML RPC reply from the netconf between Linux desktop and iOS XE router. In this script, I needed to import XML DOM, XML DOM, mini DOM, to be able to clearly print the contents of the XML RPC reply in the screen and in a readable format. Mm -hmm.